Let's create an away automation. We're going to listen for a Kinex push button event. Afterwards, we're going to turn off all the lights and all the non-essential sockets. Depending on the time of day, we're going to either open or close the blinds. We're going to wait for five minutes and make sure the garage door lock is locked and the sauna is off. For the name, let's choose away. We have multiple options how to create triggers. For this particular case, we're going to use the KNX event. We're going to select data received from KNX. And we're going to listen for a group address telegram. We're going to select the TP bus. It's going to be DPT type one. And since we already previously imported our ETS project, we can simply search for our OA scene KNX group event. Date, save. Now this automation is going to be triggered once the one home server receives a group address 001. For the next step, we're going to add an action block. We're going to add an action, type change device state since we want to turn off all lights. We're going to select a device. Under general, we have here all lights, which is uh, configured already in KNX. And we're going to select the action on off, false, in order to turn off the light. We can also use here the shortcut to select another device, for example, our general non-essential sockets, and turn them off as well. Save it. And now once this automation is triggered, we're going to turn off all lights and all non-essential sockets. For our next block, we're going to add a conditional to check whether it's between seven in the morning and seven in the evening in order to either open or close the blinds. Add a condition block. For the condition, we can use anything available in the system. In this particular case, we're going to use the system time. We're going to use the system time hour. Here, we're going to check if the current time is greater than or equal to seven in the morning. And now let's check if it's also less than or equal to seven in the evening. That's it. Now we're checking if the time is between seven in the morning and seven in the evening. Next, we're going to change the blind state. If it's between seven in the morning and seven in the evening, let's open the blinds to let the sun shine in for the plants. I'm going to add an action block. For the action, we're going to change device state. Select our device under general. We have here all shutters. We're going to select the open window covering action and save the block. Now, in case it's not between seven in the morning and seven in the evening, let's close the blinds. Create a new action. Select change device state, select our device, all shutters. Select the action, close. That's it. So now, if the time is between seven in the morning and seven in the evening, our automation will open the blinds. Otherwise, it's going to close the blinds. Now, let's wait for five minutes. We're going to add now the wait block. We need to enter the number of seconds to wait. We can here also enter the formula. So let's enter five times 60 seconds. Now let's drag from the action close 
to the weight block. That's it. So now if we open or close the blinds, we're in both cases going to wait five minutes. Okay, now that we waited for five minutes and we've left the house, we probably locked the door, but just in case, let's make sure. Let's add another block, an action block. Now we select the garage door, door lock, and we select the action lock state, lock. And just to be sure, let's also add to turn off the sauna just in case. In this case, let's drive directly to the KNX bus. So select read or write KNX group address. We select the right group address. Select the TP bus. Select DPT1. Let's find the group address for the sauna. Go on the sauna on off. And let's write false to turn it off. Save. So to review, when we receive the group address 001, we're going to turn off all lights and turn off all non-essential sockets. We're going to check the time is between 7 in the morning and 7 in the evening. If it's between this limit, we're going to open the shutters. In case it's not, we're going to close the shutters. We're going to wait five minutes to make sure we leave the house. And we're going to make sure the door lock is locked and the sauna is off. So with a couple of clicks, we create a pretty complex automation already. And the last step is to just simply enable the automation. That's it.